Hello there everyone, this is the Davy Devotional video for April 11th, 2017. Our passage for today is uh, Psalm chapter 25, the entire chapter. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Indeed, let no one who waits on you be ashamed. Let those be ashamed who deal treacherously without cause. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindnesses, for they have been from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth nor my transgressions. According to your mercy, remember me. For your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he teaches sinners in the way. The humble he guides in justice. And the humble he, te and the humble he teaches his way. <coughs> All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth. To such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way he chooses. He himself shall dwell in prosperity, and his descendants shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him, and he will show, show them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn yourself to me and have mercy on me. For I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart have enlarged. Oh, bring me out of my distresses. Look on my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. <clears throat> let me not be ashamed. For, let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all their troubles. Title for today's devotional is Through Troubled Waters. <coughs> Excuse me. In a blizzard, the familiar things disappear because the swirling snow obscured our vision. Difficulties bring out the same bring about the same effect in our minds. They create strong emotions that cloud our ability to think. Thankfully God has given us some promises to help us find our way through trials. First, the Lord has committed himself to instructing us. When we wait on him he will give us insight into our situation. Since he sees all things, he knows what steps we are to take. We may be surprised at the instruction, though, since his ways are not like our human, our human ones. Reference Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. For example, when people hurt us badly, God's Spirit will remind us that vengeance is the Lord's. Our part is to live at peace with them. Reference Romans twelve seventeen through 19 Number two, God has promised to teach us how to apply the truth he has given us. As we meditate on the word of God, his spirit will reveal the relevance of scripture to our problem. For example, let's imagine we are faced with someone making a financial request that strikes us as unreasonable. How are we to respond? God may tell us to meet the need, or even to give extra in order to bless that person. Reference there in Matthew 5, 40 and 41. Third, the Lord provides guidance as he keeps watch over us. When company is present, a parent may use a series of looks to quietly guide a child's behavior, encourage, instruct, or warn. How many of us were raised with that? Mom giving us that look, like, you better knock it off. 
You better stop. She didn't have to say a word. It was just that look. And it says here, the Lord provides guidance as he keeps watch over us. In a similar way, just as that mom gives us that look, the Holy Spirit gives us spiritual promptings to guide our actions and decisions. What troubled waters are you trying to navigate? Find your way by using these promises as guiding lights through dark circumstances. That is a powerful devotional. I love the, the idea of the mom giving that look to her kid, like, you better stop it, you know, or you're doing good, you know, that look. The Holy Spirit will prompt us in the same way. When we can't see ahead of us and we don't know what we're supposed to do, God will let us know what to do. We just have to be obedient to Him and trust. I love you guys so much. Have a blessed day. I will see you back here again tomorrow.